Hello, hello, hello friends, how are you today? This is uh, Sergio Gomez here and I am um, in the process of shipping our work right now. So let me, um, my screen here. Hello, good to see you all. Uh, welcome, welcome to this scope. If uh, you're joining me, uh, say hello through the chat roll at the bottom. Uh, send me a, you know, a hello or send me some hearts if you're watching this. And I want to uh, talk a little bit about shipping because I am right now in the process of preparing an exhibition uh, of my work, a solo exhibit that's going to Mexico and I'm in the process of preparing all the shipping and getting all the works ready and boxing things around as well. So I want to make sure that I got uh, everything that I need ready. So I figured out since I'm doing this right now, I might as well talk about it, record it here through uh, Periscope and share it with our friends, uh, artists. You know, that's one of the questions that I get a lot uh, through our, our next level program is, you know, how about shipping? You know, how, what are some, give us some tips about shipping, uh, particularly internationally. And that's what I'm talking about. This show that I'm preparing right now is going to Mexico and it needs to be done correctly so it gets there on time and it's, uh, it's ready to roll. So, um, you know, if you have questions as I do this, you know, please send me your questions through here to the chat. I would love to say hello. And uh, also, if you miss it, you know, I'm going to be posting this on my blog too, SergioGomezArt.wordpress.com, uh, where you can find also the, some notes that I have. But uh, I want to talk about shipping. You know, what are some of the, the things that you need to know and, and pretty quick, quickly when it comes to international shipping? And so I'm going to give you a, a few suggestions. The first one, which is very important when you talk about shipping, is uh, give yourself plenty of time. You know, you need time. Uh, this is not something that you can do at the rush, last minute thing. If you're going to ship internationally, particularly if you're shipping a whole show, you want to take your time. I have done a lot of shipping in my career through my gallery and myself as an artist. Uh, a couple of years ago, I shipped uh, uh, like three pallets full of artwork to an exhibition in Italy, and I had to manage all the shipping and make sure everything arrived there. Uh, it, we send it all through ocean, so... I needed about one month just for shipping from United States to Italy without, you know, uh, to accommodate for any delays and so forth. So always give yourself timing. Of course, if you're going by air, you don't need that much time to ship it, but uh, give yourself time. The, the worst enemy of international shipping is not having enough time. So that's something that you want to keep in mind, it's something that, that you want to consider. Uh, give yourself plenty of time. Number two is... You want to figure out how you're going to package this thing. Because when you call to getting quotes, uh, the first thing is they're going to ask you what is it that you're shipping and how, you know, how, is it, how is it being packaged. So is there's a big difference whether you're just shipping one artwork, one piece versus 20 or 30 or, uh, or a sculpture that needs to go on a, on a crate and a pallet. So you have to figure out exactly how you're shipping your art, figure it out you know, the, the packaging that you need, make sure that everything is packaged properly, double package, make sure that you cover the corners. I always like to reinforce corners when I'm shipping internationally because those are the first things that, you know, that get damaged. So make sure you properly protect corners. I prefer if I'm gonna ship uh, many works uh, to do a pallet and then shrink wrap that pallet with a lot of shrink wrap so it's nice and tight. And, you know, it's better to be overprotected than underprotected. So far, I have never had any trouble with shipping. And I see some hearts there. Yeah, if you like what I say, you know, you send me some hearts. We'd love to hear from you. If you have comments or questions, make sure you send them so I can address them too at the end. Uh, so figure out your, your packaging. Get help if you need help. Don't try to do it yourself if you have never shipped something internationally. And especially if something is fragile. Get help. There are... Many companies, uh, I'm sure in your city, that, that do crating or ask another artist, ask in Facebook who around your, your town, your city can help you with crating. So uh, that is very important. Then after that, you want to start calling and making quotes. That's why you need time. You know, it's not just one, uh, or, you know, one place where you go. There are many options when it comes to international shipping. And you want to make sure that you get uh, uh, good rates and you get great service. This is very important too. When I, when I do international shipping, particularly larger amounts of work, I want to be treated well. I want to make sure that my questions are answered. I want to make sure that the person on the other side of the phone is nice with me, that I have the opportunity to ask questions. And, uh, and that to me is very valuable. Even if sometimes my, I have to pay a little bit more uh, to find the, the right company, but that to me is very important. I want to make sure that 
when my artwork leaves my home, my studio, my gallery is going to get to its destination and I have someone I can call to track things down. So uh, get some quotes and what you're going to do is you're going to find looking for freight companies. Uh, I'm talking here when I talk about shipping, I'm talking about you know, shipping more than one piece, like, you know, something larger, a sculptural piece or something that requires a pallet or a freight um, uh, or a crate, uh, that you, something that you cannot just send uh, very easily on through the postal service or through FedEx or UPS, something about something larger. So you want to call uh, freight companies that can give you some quotes, especially if you have large work. It might be just one painting, but it's oversized. So you have to get, get uh, quotes. And what I have done at the end of this Periscope, I'm going to give you a website where you can go and find a list of shipping companies that I have collected, uh, what I call when I need to ship, and I get quotes from them. So you should do that. Compare the quotes, see what they offer, uh, see how they treat you. You want to make sure that you get your answers, uh, your questions answered. Uh, I recommend if you're going international because uh, every country is different. And customs are different in every country, and you have to make sure all the paperwork is done correctly. If you miss one piece of paperwork, your, your artwork, your shipment can get stuck in the country you know, for days or weeks, and perhaps you lose the exhibition. So you have to make sure you do your diligence work ahead of time, and you go through all the paperwork that they require, you know, your customs, which you will probably have to work with a customs broker uh, and a freight boarding agent who will also be assisting you and requiring you requiring uh, all kinds of information from you from what is it that you're shipping uh you know whether you want to insure it for how much and all these kinds of things you know what kind of work it is uh the value uh, think about taxes too many countries will charge a tax upon the arrival of the artwork and when before it's going it continues on the road and so you know do you need to uh, keep you need to keep that in mind and uh, you know, is it, a, is it an exhibition where you're sending the work for sale, or is it you're only sending it for exhibition, and it's gonna, you know, so it has no commercial value, and it has to come back to the United States? So all these are questions that a freight company, your customs broker, will help you deal with, and uh, will help you make all the correct arrangements for the pro for the country that you are sending your work to. So keep that in mind. That's very important. Uh, I always go for door-to-door -door service. That's the best, and that's what I recommend if you're going international and it's your first time, door to door. They'll help you to pick up the artwork from your studio, and they deliver it directly to the door of the gallery or the museum or the buyer, whoever it is that, that the painting needs to go to or the sculpture or the works that you're sending. Door to door service is always the best. It's awesome. Uh, you know, it covers you uh, from the moment your artwork leaves to the moment it arrives on the other side and allows you to track it. You want to make sure that you work with a company that's going to allow you to track the shipment, where it is. Many companies have their own website or they have some sort of other system or an email that you send them and then they can give you updates or where the artwork is at. For me, when I ship the artwork to, uh, for example, this big um, show that we sent to Italy with 30 pieces and three pallets full of artwork, you know, I, I was concerned because it was going to go by ship and, and, and we took half of a, a container, a small container, so I had, you know, I had uh, uh, my customs broker who was very kind and, and nice with me and, and kept me always aware of where, how things are going and where things were at. If I had a question, I just send him an email and he would answer, you know, quickly. And that was, that's kind of the service that I'm looking for when I'm shipping uh, the artwork out there. Um, so always have a way for, track to, for tracking your shipment. Uh, it is very important also that if you use door to door service because when your artwork arrives to the other to the country of uh, of destination um, you have normally you have up to three days for the artwork for the shipment to be picked up from the customs location otherwise they start charging you per day and whether you want it or not something gets delayed uh, you know they don't come to pick up on time you're gonna get charged per day and that's something that you definitely definitely no, you don't. You know, you don't want to have that 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 problem. So, work with a reliable company. Work with a company that can help you through the whole entire process, especially if it's your first time, and then you learn. You know, the how how things go. Um, and um, what what else I want to tell you? I think that's you know that's that's pretty much some some of the tips, some highlights. Make sure that everything is properly packaged. Figure out your shipping. Uh, get your weights and measurements ahead of time. Make a list of everything that you ship 
uh, all the details exactly of what is it in the box, how it's shipped. Uh, take a picture of the work. Take a picture also of how it's wrapped, just for you know for your own uh, records. Um, talk about insurance with your agent. Uh, talk about, get some quotes. Get quotes is important. Don't just go with the first one that you find. Get some quotes and uh, you know get a good service. I think that's very important. You're paying a lot of money for them to take your artwork from your destination to where it needs to go. So uh, you, you deserve good good service. So make sure you get that. And track your shipment. Make sure you track it. And, uh, you know, you stay on top of things. And the most important thing of all, like I said at the beginning, is timing. Give yourself plenty of time. So um, just to show you what I'm working on here in my studio, uh, really you can send me. So I'm shipping all these pieces down to a show in Mexico. So I took them from my studio, brought them here in my home garage so I can package it all. It's a beautiful day outside, so I figured it's going to be nice weather. I'll just do it all outdoor. Have a good time and pack it for the show in Mexico. So what I want to do is I want to give you a website that you can go to for a list of, uh, of uh, international art shipping companies. It, by no means this list, uh, any of these companies is related to me in any way or my gallery. However, um, this is a great list that I have compiled from other artists too that have used many of them. And some of the ones that are listed there are some that I have used as well. So check that out. I'm going to put it here on the screen. You want uh, here's a list of international art shipping companies. The art is next level dot com rise slash ship. So you just go to www the art is next level dot com rise slash ship. And what you get there is a list of art shipping companies that you can call and get quotes. You know, it's getting a quote is free. So give him a call. Uh, ask all the questions you have. Uh, they got to give you good service. If they don't, then Call somebody else. There's many companies out there that are willing to take your work from your destination, uh, from, from your location to the destination where they need to go. So uh, that's it. That's all I wanted to share with you. Good luck in your shipping next time that you ship uh, internationally. Uh, check out my uh, exhibition in Mexico. Just follow me on, on Facebook. You'll find me there under the Sergio Gomez Projects. And uh, that's it. Hope you enjoy. Any questions? If you have any questions, you know, send them your way. If not, uh, I will address questions later on uh, in my blog. All right. Take care. See ya.